Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of fractions on a number line. This is standard 3.7a in the great state of Texas and we're using number 2 of the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause this video, work the problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we've got a number line up here, and it represents one whole foot. So that's going to be important because the rest of these are going to be fractions. Now, they purposefully do not line up this one. It needs to be brought over a little bit for it to be lined up. So we're going to have to use our fractional sense in order to figure out where is one half. Well, let's figure out what we, what we can about some of these fractions. So the way we're going to be looking at these fractions is we're going to be looking at how many spaces there are, and that's going to be your denominator. So the denominator is going to be the bottom number. And it tells you how many total things there are, whether it be total parts. In this case, we're looking at total spaces in between 0 and 1. And then the numerator always counts how many uh, shaded pieces or how many lines. In this case, we're looking at lines, but how many out of the total we're looking at. So in F, we've got one, we've got two spaces, but you know what? Those spaces are not even. And one thing, we know that fractional parts always have to be equal. Fractional parts, another word for that is going to be congruent. That's a big word, but that's going to be good for us to know. They have to be congruent, same size, same shape. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark, mark off F because they do not have equal pieces. Now, G's got equal pieces. We could do something with G. Let's check out G. I see we've got one, I've got two, and I've got three pieces. So that means we're going to be dealing with thirds. And H is the first hop over, so that's the first line. So that's where we get one third. There are three spaces, three spaces or three pieces between zero and one, and H is at the end of the first one. All right, so let, uh, let's look at answer H. We've got one, two, three. We've got fourths here. They are even. And H right here is at the end of the first one again. So these two are going to be unit fractions. Unit fractions are fractions that have a numerator of 1, because that's the smallest unit you can break it down into. Now, let's hope J is 1 half, because that's our last one. We've got 1, we've got 2, we've got 3, and we've got 4. So fourths again, uh-oh, it's not going to be half. And then H is not on the first line, it's on the second line. So... Either we did something wrong, or our one-half might look slightly different. So we might need to be looking for an equivalent fraction. So equivalent, you see the word equal basically in there, means it's a fraction that has different numbers, but it's the same amount. So let's take our one-half right here. I'm going to draw it just to see how it works here. I'll draw a circle. And so this is my one half. Let's pretend each side is exactly equal and I've got one half. Well, I know that if I take each of those halves and I break them up into smaller parts, I can get a different fraction that is the exact same amount. So watch this. I'm going to take each half. I'm going to cut that one in half. I'm going to cut that one in half. And now I've got two pieces out of four. So take a look at that. One half is the same as two-fourths. I did not change the part that was shaded. The part that was shaded, the amount that was shaded was exactly the same. All I did was change how big the pieces were. So if I were to take a look at my J right here and say I've got two big pieces, if I were to ignore these little lines right here, I say I've got two big pieces. They are equal. So I can say there are two big pieces. That's another way of looking at it. And H is right in the middle. It's at the end of this first big piece. You could say it's one half, and so my answer is going to be J.